All right, today we're going to take a look at the Snap-on load tester. This is a Snap-on AVR machine, and what it does is it measures the current of the battery, the starter circuit, and a charging circuit as well. So we got a couple of different features that are on that's on here. You have a load set dial, okay, and this is a giant. This is all digitized, so we don't have to worry about like the VAT40 uh, reading analog gauges. Everything is digital. We don't have to worry about anything. It actually saves all of our measurements, which is really a nice feature, especially if you're doing the work by yourself. So right here, we have the battery load test. This is for determining if our batteries are good or bad. Then we have a starter draw test, which is what we're going to do today. And then we have an alternator output test, uh, which we'll learn about a little bit later on. So today we're going to work on the starter draw test. And the first step that we have to do with the starter draw test is we have to hook up our positive and negative battery cables to the battery itself, okay? Easy and simple. All right, now the nice part about this machine is uh, once we hook up the battery cables to the battery, it automatically comes to life. So we'll take a look over here. As you can see the machine, let's see if I can get this just enough. There you go. So it automatically comes to life. It gives us our battery voltage, 12.68 volts, and we got it right around. It says one amp right here, which is not a big deal. We're not gonna pay attention to this just yet. Because what we got to do next is we got to hook up the inductive amp clamp. So this is our amp clamp right here, using simple enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around a wire. We're going to wrap this around the battery wire that leads from the positive terminal of the battery to the starter solenoid. And as the battery, the battery wire goes directly through this, okay, as current flows through that wire, it's going to generate a magnetic field. This amp clamp is going to pick up that magnetic field inside of it and send a signal into the machine and then it's going to tell us what our current is flowing through that wire going to our starter motor. So depending on the demand of the starter motor, this will be able to dictate how much current it's pulling okay, through the SAM clamp. Now the SAM clamp does have an arrow on it, if you can kind of see it right there. We want to make sure that that arrow is pointed away from the battery or tar towards the starter motor. Okay, So easy and simple enough. So we'll go ahead and connect this and then uh, we'll be ready to start the test. All right, so right here you can see I got my amp clamp. It's wrapped right around the primary wire that leads from the battery down to the starter motor. Okay, this is called my power circuit wire, and then it's coming directly off of the positive battery post. All right, so here's a junction box located directly underneath the hood. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this off. And what I'm looking for is I want to try to kill the fuel system. Uh, if I disable the spark, that's fine. The engine's not gonna start, but the downside is the fuel system's still gonna be working, so it's gonna actually push gas into the engine and then pump it out and it's going to get plugged up in the catalytic converter and when we actually start it that fuel and air can combust inside of the catalytic converter causing all sorts of damage in the exhaust system and I don't want to do that because catalytic converters can be expensive so your best alternative is to try to block the fuel from entering into the engine so in this case uh, we have an EFI relay uh, for electronic fuel injection we're going to pull that relay and that's going to disable the injectors so they don't spray fuel the spark plugs will still ignite um, but there's going to be nothing in there to light up, so it's not a big deal. So this is the relay that we're looking for, uh, EFI or F heater. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull that relay, and then we'll disable our fuel system. So our relay is located right there. So we'll just pull it out. All right, now that we're at this stage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly zero out the amps. So I'm going to come over here and hit amps zero. Click on it, wipes the amps out, keeps it down in the zero state. Now if it goes negative one or positive one, it's not a big deal. Okay, but just as long as it doesn't read anything like 20 or 30, uh, that would be a big deal and that would definitely ruin some of the readings and the measurements. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the uh, starter draw test. And when I hit this button, this timer right down here is going to start uh, ticking down from 15. When I get to 5 seconds, that's when I want to try to start this engine. So I'm going to continue to crank and crank and crank once I get down to 5 seconds. And I'm going to crank until it gets down to 0. Once it hits 0, it's going to freeze all the information from my cranking test. So real quick, real easy. I'm not going to be able to see it, so I'm just going to kind of give a rough guess and just crank as long as I think it will be right. So there's a timer ticking down. Alright, 
So there you have it. Our total cranking amperes, amperes on the uh, snap-on machine says 92 amps at 10.9 volts. We're above 9.6 volts, so that's a good reading. And 92 amps is plenty for this four-cylinder engine that we got inside of this 2000 Chevy Prism. Okay, so that's how to do a starter motor current draw test using the snap-on load tester. Thanks for watching.